the Heineken Cup continues this week when the Ospreys travel to Franklin's Gardens to face Northampton Saints on Sunday. In the lead-up to the game, we'll hear today from Ryan Jones, James King and head coach Steve Tandy. James, how's preparation for the big game on Sunday going? Yeah, uh, good. Obviously, we've had a disappointing result last week, but you know we've had we've got an eight-day turnaround until this next game, and you know we feel that we're in a good place. You know we've got things right that we need to get right, and uh, yeah, I think we're in a good place for the weekend. Northampton, a typically English Premiership team, powerful, strong, so you can expect quite a contest. Yeah, definitely. You can see by the size of their forward pack, you know Dylan Hartley, Courtney Laws. You know it's going to be a tough test for us forwards up there. You know, so we just got to make sure that you know we're clinical in what we do, and you know we do it accurately enough and get it stopped at source. And that's the beauty of the Heineken Cup, that you might lose the first game but another big contest comes just days later. Exactly, I mean, you, you, the Heineken's come in sets of two, don't they, so... Why do they call you sketchy? <laughs> Some sketchy. Give them the sketchy eyes. <sighs> what was the question? Yeah, exactly, I mean, obviously we had a disappointing result against Leinster, which, you know, we want to put right this week, so... Luckily enough, the Heineken Cup, you know, if you go away and win these games, you know, you're back in the mix, so it is all, everything at all costs this weekend. There's everything still to play for. Exactly. Finally, Goffy started last season, so we'd be remiss not to continue it this year. Um, is there any tips, any cash king money saving tips this bargains. week? Bargains, what have I had bargains lately? Donuts, five for four people. No, no, it was a while ago. Um, oh, I don't know. Clint, Clint the Butchers, Clint the Butchers in Ponte. You've been getting a good deal from me there, so if you, need, you want local produce, go up to Clint in Ponte Dowie. Any particular recommendations? I had some uh, stewing steak off him the other week and made a lovely uh, ale and beef casserole. So you're a whiz in the kitchen as well? I do my best. Fuck you, pack anything, this one, please. Joining us now is Laura Jones from the Ospreys commercial team. Yeah, we're hoping a lot of fans are going to be travelling away with the boys this weekend to Northampton. The support really does make a huge difference to the boys. Just to say thank you, we're offering 10% off at the club shop for all those going up this weekend. All they've got to do is just show their match ticket in store and they can benefit before the game. Plus, don't forget that it's Derby Day next up at the Liberty when we welcome the Dragons on Friday the 25th of October, 7.05pm kickoff. We'll be joined by a load of the clubs from around the region, including those involved in the Ospreys Cup, for a special half-time lap of honour. If people haven't bought their tickets yet, we do urge them to take advantage of the uh, schools, clubs and ticketing initiative developed in conjunction with our partners, Education Staffing Solutions. We've actually got a load of packs going out to the schools around the region now, which includes this uh, poster and fixtures list to help them get the most out of the scheme. If they've got any questions, they can contact myself. So that's Laura on 01792 616 500. Disappointment at the weekend, but a massive game in Northampton on Sunday. Yeah, huge disappointment for, for the squad, um, but it's something that uh, you haven't got too, too long to dwell on it. Um, we're back in training on Monday, so we just can't wait to get back up to Northampton. We know it's going to be a physical encounter. It's a huge occasion. It's something that we can't wait to get started with. And what are you expecting from Northampton? They're a big, physical, typical English team. Um, they're huge men and um, they carry the ball pr pretty well and things, so it's something that defensively we're going to have to be on the mark and then when we do get the ball we're going to have to look after it a little bit, a little bit better than we did on the weekend. What kind of reaction have you seen from the boys in training this week? Yeah look, there's a lot of the like, uh, yeah. boys are a little bit down on Monday which is expected. They, they were disappointed in the fact that we felt we let something slip where we felt that we had Leinster probably in the first 20-25 minutes where we should have capitalised um, and a lot of it was our own undoing in around the game so that's where the biggest disappointment lies but like we said we can't um, sort of mope around, we've got to get uh, ready to go for the weekend. And with four teams all capable of beating each other in this pool, there's a long way to go yet. Oh definitely, we're quite capable of going to, going to Northampton, causing a huge upset, which is something we, we plan on doing. So then if we do get that sort of four points up there, it, it opens the group right up again. Ryan finally back on the field at the weekend at long last, but not the team performance or result you'd have hoped for. Yeah, it was uh, it was obviously great to be back in amongst the fold, in, the, in the fold, if you like, you know, to experience the the match day, and it, it was great to see so many fans. It was, but obviously tinged with a huge amount of disappointment. 
with the result, we, you know, we, we did so well for 50, 60 minutes, but again, like the week prior, we, we were unable to close the game out. We've, we've come back in this week, we've picked the bones out of it, but this is Europe, you don't get a, you, you don't get a second chance. That's gone, we've got to park that, we've got to move on. You know, the, the beauty of this competition is the games come pretty thick and fast, and you, you, you're, not, you're not out of it after round one, there's no doubt in that. We've got a huge fixer this weekend away at Northampton, and, uh, and, and a good win there will put us right back in the, in the mix, I think. What's the mood like being around Van Darcy this week after the setback on Saturday? Yeah, it's been bitly. You know, the boys are bitly disappointed. You know, with with the result and more importantly the performance. It was, it wasn't us. You know, we didn't we didn't play the way we we trained for, for large parts. But you know, with that, you know, sport week to week sport is all about you know parking one thing and moving on. You know, you you, you have to learn from mistakes. There's only so much you can change in a week. So. We spent we spent early part of the week getting over that disappointment. You get you get the physical element of it done, and then you start your preparation ready ready for the for the following week. There's a huge weight of expectation. You know we we have to go and win. It's a must win for us as a, as a group really if we're going to keep our, our our European you know dream alive. So you know with that as a pressure, but it's not a pressure with which you you shrink and, and hide away from. It's one you you need to embrace and enjoy. Total pressure. Northampton also got off to a losing start. Being the home team, are they perhaps under a little bit more pressure? Well, yeah, we, we, there's, there's two teams who lost their opening game speed, so um, irrelevant of who's home and who's away, it's it's a must win for both teams, which gives it a bit of an ad, added edge. But it's it's going to be about composure, you know, you, you don't go away to these sorts of grounds and and play by the, by the seat of your pants, if you like, you know, it's going to have to be measured, it's going to have to be controlled, and we're going to have to try and construct a win, really. Um, so it's about very much about us, the way we've prepared is, we pay a huge amount of respect Northampton with the way in which they play, the characters in which they've got in their team, but you know, for us, we can only can control what we can, you know, and that's maybe what we haven't done the last fortnight. But we need to get our own house in order this week. Moving on, you're approaching the end of your testimonial year. <laughs> um, two or three events left to go. Uh, how are you enjoying it and being heavily involved with the Welsh Cards and, and just being the centre of attention for a while? <laughs> centre of attention, perfect. Yeah, no, look, it's been it's been a wonderful 12 months, really. Uh, you know, we've we've held events that over two and a half thousand people have been to and, you know, Touch wood, I think everyone's had a good time too. So it's been it's been wonderful that point. We've met some wonderful people along the way. My you know, my admiration for the Welsh Guards and support has only grow, has only grown really. They've been they've been incredibly supportive of me and I've tried to be likewise of them. We're a wonderful bunch of guys who are wired very similarly to us, but obviously the stakes are slightly higher for those guys. That's it for this week. Don't forget next weekend sees the first Welsh Derby of the season at the Liberty Stadium with Newport Gwent Dragons visit on Friday the 25th of October. Tickets are on sale now from all the usual sources. We'll see you at the Liberty Stadium next week. <laughs>